Hello and welcome to ET Info. My name is David Barnes. I'm part of the IBM Emerging Technologies Group. This video is the second in a series around a new technology from our group called Project Blue Spruce. In the first video, Dan Gisolfi invited me into a telepresence session in Project Blue Spruce, showed me around the user interface, and covered some of the capabilities. In this video, I'll meet up with Dan again and I'll ask him why we're making Blue Spruce, what's its business value, and where it fits into the telepresence market. So, Dan Gisolfi, Chief Technology Evangelist around Project Blue Spruce. Dan, thanks for joining me again. Thanks for having me, David. Hey, in the uh, previous videos, you showed me around Project Blue Spruce, uh, gave me an idea of how it works, but now I'm more interested in, you know, the whys behind it. What's your vision behind Blue Spruce? Okay, hey, David, well, um, if you can do me a favor and uh, click on the minimized PDF file I have in our huddle here, I can we'll do use just... the huddle manager to uh, go through some slides. Okay, I launched it and you can drive it, right? We're, yeah, we're absolutely. cooperative here. I like cooperating with you. So back to your question, we, what's the vision behind uh, Project Blue Spruce and for that matter, our notion around cooperative web? Um, I like to step back and think about the promise of telepresence in the industry today. As you've probably experienced, a lot of telepresence solutions are very high end. Uh, they focus on the video conferencing, but also the ambiance, the furniture, the lighting, the, 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 the colors in the room, that type of thing. Um, we want to go beyond that. We want to make sure that we could broaden the reach of telepresence uh, solutions to anybody, anywhere. And to do that, we want to leverage commodity hardware and commodity um, so software like the browser to establish the just like being there um, meetings. Okay, so, so, so let me make sure I'm clear on this because even here at IBM, we have little conference rooms that have expensive equipment in the corner that nobody's ever figured out how to use. And all that's really done in the past when it has worked is share video. Here, I got a webcam I picked up at Fry's. You got a webcam. We're in a browser. And we can work cooperatively. And this is compared to that expensive shrine I have heard you call before, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So we're, we're basically extending that browser framework with the video and audio and complementing it also with the palette of data on the web and making it interactive all in one solution with broader reach for anybody anywhere. Okay, so here's the next question. Why? I mean, why, why do this? What's, what's this? Lots of, lots of motivators. Um, let's just pick a few. Number one, we're all experiencing the financial downturn. You and I, for example, here at IBM haven't traveled much uh, due to restrictions uh, due to, uh, for traveling. Um, there's the green economy. We all want to do the right thing for the environment. So less travel and is also good, but at the same time, we don't want to lose the relationships with our customers. We want to be as productive as possible with our customers, and so we need to leverage technology to enhance that productivity while being cognizant of uh, the economical uh, uh, downturns. Um, also, you and I are telecommuters. We both work from right. home the majority of the time. Um, this is a very large uh, market out there. It's uh, grown at around 30% annually. Um, we want to make sure that technologies like Project Blue Spruce and the browser framework itself can be used as a tool, a very productive tool for folks like you and I. Yeah, uh, and okay. Go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry. I, you just hit so many points there that are so true because, as you said, we're both telecommuters and I can understand all of this, but I interrupted. No, no. Uh, my last point was the fact that um, when we talk about telepresence, a lot of the times we're trying to cre create, recreate this promise of just like being there. And we, want, we don't want to forget this notion of the interactivity. Um, we want to make sure that cooperative web is something that is kind of like pushing the envelope, going beyond where the industry is today. It's like an added value. Yeah, and you know, when you talk about interactive, I, I'll share with the audience. When we did this earlier and we thought there was a bug, and it wasn't, it was a network problem, but you just pinged one of the developers that you're working with. He joined us in this session, saw what we were doing, and you're up in New York, and I'm here in Austin. I was at home, and he's, I don't even know where he was. But he was up in Cambridge. That's a really fantastic, that's interaction, truly, because he was sort of here helping us r at the real time. So we know about telepresence solutions and the shrine, but what's new around Project Blue Spruce? Well, everybody 
is pretty much these days familiar with what I'll call the traditional online meeting, where you have one person presenting to n people, kind of like lecturing. All right, um, that's fine. And then you know, if you want to hand off control to somebody else, you, there's many different solutions out there uh, that that allow you to do that. Um, what we're trying to do with Cooperative Web is kind of change the model. We want to leverage the browser to have this more flexible, ad hoc canvas that allows end to end, end participants interacting with end people, um, all simultaneously. That's a major change, a shift. Um, in addition, as you mentioned earlier, David, you and I are both using commodity hardware here. That, by the way, is semi-high def or high def, if you wish, um, all within the browser. Think about that. The maturity of the of the, the technology today and the, the low cost allows us to have a very br broad uh, solution here um, for many people. And then finally, when you introduce new technology, you want to make sure the on-ramp is extremely easy to approach. And we are just extending the browser. Everybody's used to the browser. The, the, the experience there is very familiar. So we're just taking that as a, as a base framework and extending it uh, to offer an, a, a new solution. Cool, so we can have a lot of people in here interactively. We can handle high def video if we wanted to. And we're running in a simple browser, which means inexpensive because I know my webcam was less than like 80 bucks. Yep. Fantastic. So business value. I mean, this appears to show business value right there, but tell me more about that. And by the way, I'm not the one that clicked forward, although I could. <laughs> we're cooperative. So if you want me to go back and forth for you or you want me to lead you on. So, so what about go. business value? What about, what about the business value behind this? When we meet, we meet to interact, decide, make decisions and, and potentially act on those decisions. So Blue Spruce is essentially a technology enabler to accelerate and amplify the decision making process, but not just for a few that more that most telepresence solutions are, but for a broader audience. Okay. So broadening the participation and accelerating that uh, the decision making process. Uh, we also want to make sure because we're leveraging the browser, we can make anybody available anytime to participate in a small meeting a work group, if you wish, via a browser access. Uh, so I want to also point out that when we, de when we meet like you and I are meeting today, um, it's not just about the voice and the data. What IBM is introducing here is also the, the I'm sorry, not just the voice and the audio, it's also the data. And that interactivity around the data is a, is a new value add. Okay, and I'll stop you there and say what you meant is video audio, but also the data. So yeah. hey, we got, about, uh, we got about a minute or so, so I can fit this into the YouTube time frame. You've got some industry examples. Yes, uh, specifically, uh, we're seeing a lot of interest right now in distance learning and healthcare, but I want to point out to the audience that Project Blue Spruce is a um, solution that can be used in any uh, industry. And what we've done is we've actually focused on a spectrum of meeting types from just in time, just good enough, and then purpose built. And we'll show you demonstrations of that uh, as we uh, move forward with these videos. Cool, let's bring this one to a close. We'll come back, you can give me some examples. Sounds great, David. Great, thanks, Dan. Well, that's some of the why behind Project Blue Spruce. In the next couple of videos, Dan and I will be back to show some demonstrations around different customer scenarios we've built around Blue Spruce. That video, this video and all of my others I post at youtube.com slash ibmetinfo. And if you're interested in engaging with us around a proof of concept around Blue Spruce, you can contact our JSTART team, that's our Jumpstart team, at jstart at us.ibm.com.